We are gathered together in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, in this Mass celebration, in this Eucharistic celebration, let us offer our personal intentions including the intentions of the people whom we promise to pray for, most especially those who are suffering from their sickness, and to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us acknowledge our sins and ask for God's mercy. You were sent the contrite of heart, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, increase our faith, hope, and charity, and make us love what you command, so that we may merit what you promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, be subordinate to one another out of reverence for Christ. Wives should be subordinate to their husbands as to the Lord. For the husband is head of his wife, just as Christ is head of the church. He himself, the Savior of the body. As the church is subordinate to Christ, so wives should be subordinate to their husbands in everything. Husbands, love your wives, even as Christ loved the church and handed himself over for her to sanctify her, cleansing her by the bath of water with the word, that he might present to himself the church in splendor, without spot or wrinkle or any such thing, that she might be holy and without blemish. So also husbands should love their wives as their own bodies. He who loves his wife loves himself, for no one hates his own flesh, but rather nourishes and cherishes it, even as Christ does the church, because we are members of his body. For this reason, a man shall leave his father and his mother and be joined 
to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. This is a great mystery, but I speak in reference to Christ and the church. In any case, each one of you should love his wife as himself, and the wife should respect her husband. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Blessed are you who fear the Lord, who walk in his ways. For you shall eat the fruit of your handiwork. Blessed shall you be and favored. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Your wife shall be like a fruitful vine in the recesses of your home, your children like olive plants around your table. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Behold, thus is the man blessed who fears the Lord. The Lord bless you from Zion. May you see the prosperity of Jerusalem all the days of your life. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus, Jesus said, What is the kingdom of God like? To what can I compare it? It is like a mustard seed that a man took and planted in the garden. When it was fully grown, it became a large bush, and the birds of the sky dwelt in its branches. Again he said, To what I shall compare the kingdom of God? It is like yeast that a woman took and mixed it with three measures of wheat flour until the whole batch of dough was leavened. My dear brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. Mga kapatid, ating napakinggan mula sa Ebanghelyo kung paano um, nagbigay muli ng parabola ang ating Panginoon patungkol sa paghahari ng Diyos. At kung ating titingnan ang ginamit niya dito ay ang maliit na butil ng mustasa at ang kapirason ng yeast. At kung titingnan natin, laging nag-uumpisa at laging kinocompare ng Panginoon ang paghahari ng Diyos sa isang maliit na bagay. Maliit pero may malaking impact sa buhay ng tao. Gaya ng ating pananampalataya, gaya ng ating paniniwala sa Panginoon, nag-uumpisa lagi sa maliit, pero lumalaki ng mas higit pa sa inaakala natin. Katulad ng paghahari ng Diyos, kung titingnan natin, parang ang liit ng tsansa na tayo ay mapabilang dito. Pero napakalaki ang naging papel ni Jesus para tayo ay maging kabahagi nito. 
kung titingnan natin at pagbabasihan natin ng ating mga um, taglay na karunungan o kaalaman at lakas ay maliit pero may malaking impact din kung paano tayo makikipag-ugnayan at makikipagtagpo sa bawat isa sa atin. Mga kapatid, tayo ay pinapaalalahanan ng Ebanghelyo na una, walang maliit sa mata ng Panginoon. Ang bawat ginagawa natin ay may malaking epekto sa bawat isa sa atin. Hindi natin kailangan maghangad ng laging malaki o garbo para lang mapatunayan ang ating sarili sa Panginoon. Hindi natin kailangan gumawa ng kahangahangang malalaking bagay na makikita ng lahat, kundi doon sa simple, pero magkakaroon ng malaking epekto sa pagkatao ng ating kapwa. Inanyayahan na tayo na lagi magsimula sa pinakamaliit at uti-uti ito ay makikita sa malaking epekto gaya ng isang maliit na mostasa sa umpisa maliit pero nang lumaki ang mga ibon ay nagkaroon ng pagkakataon na um, maka magkaroon ng resting place same with our faith maliit sa umpisa pero ang tao ay nai-inspire dahil sa ating mga ginagawang maliliit na bagay. Dahil sa maliliit na bagay, nagkakaroon ito ng maayos at malinaw na pag-asa para sa iba. Gayun din, pangalwa, ipinapaalala ng Panginoon kung paanong tayo ay nakakapagbigay na magandang impact or influensya sa ibang tao. Sana pangalagaan din natin ang meron sa ating puso. Katulad kung papaano ang sa ikalawang um, parabola na ginamit ng Panginoon, ang yeast na inihalo. Kung tayo ay merong malalim na pananampalataya sa ating puso, yung ating gawa ay susunod sa kung ano ang pinaniniwalaan at kung ano ang ating um, nilalaman ng puso. Pero kung ang laman ng ating puso at pagkatao ay puro galit, hinanakit at tinggit, yun din ang ating maiibahagi, yun din ang lalabas sa ating pagkatao, yun din ang ating uh, magiging gawi. Kaya mga kapatid, napakahalaga ng meron din tayong malinis na puso. Napakahalaga ng meron tayong malinis at maayos na kaisipan upang makapagbigay tayo ng mas malawak na pangunawa at pagmamahal sa ating kapwa. Ang mga parable na ito na ginamit ng Panginoon ay palatandaan na walang maliit para sa Panginoon. Pero may malaking epekto kung gagawin natin ng tama. Kaya muli mga kapatid, sa bawat araw ng ating buhay, baka lagi po natin tatandaan sa maliit na bagay, pwede tayong mag- magbigay ng malaking epekto sa ibang tao. At sa maliit nating pananampalataya, kung ating isa sa buhay ng maayos, ito ay lalago ng higit pa sa ating inaakala. At sa huli, ang Panginoon ay patuloy at lubos na magpapala sa ating Amen. Please stand. Like a great tree with flourishing branches or like a seed, quietly grow. So the kingdom of God spreads. We make our prayers together as our share in the loving plan of divine providence. In every petition, our response be God of life, Make our lives life-giving. God of life, make our lives life-giving. That the church may continue to grow by welcoming and redeeming human cultures and values. Let us pray to the Lord. God God of of life, make make our our lives lives life-giving. 
that those involved in economic development programs may support farmers and may those who develop the land protect and respect the natural environment. Let us pray to the Lord. God of life, make our lives life-giving. That our families, especially our children, may grow in the ways of grace and mature into Christ-like people. Let us pray to the Lord. God, God of life, life make, make our, our lives life-giving. Life that the sick may be steadfast in their faith and may be strengthened through our care and concern. Let us pray to the Lord. God of life, make, make our, our lives life-giving. Life that our beloved dead may enjoy the peace of God's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. God of God life, life make, make our, our lives life-giving. Life Heavenly Father, help us to grasp the importance of time in which we are living. Open our hearts to your word so that we may always bear fruit. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for your goodness we have received the bread we have, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. The bread of Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look, we pray, O Lord, on the offerings we make to your majesty, that whatever is done by us in your service may be directed above all to your glory. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, Dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of your holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, 
broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as you celebrate the memorial of his death and the resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held this worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed, hallowed be thy, thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come. Thy, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily, daily bread and, and forgive us our trespasses. trespasses as we forgive, forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Please stand. Let us pray. May your sacrament, O Lord, we pray, perfect in us what lies within them, that what we now celebrate in signs we may one day possess in truth through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord with your life. Thanks be to God.